As soon as you create your brand new eBay account, there are the certain settings which I recommend doing straight away. If you don't do this, this can cost a lot of headache and a lot of financial loss as well. So let's get started. My name is Zen Chao. On this channel, I talk about how to realistically make money online from the platform like eBay, Amazon, Shopify. So if you are first time here, consider subscribing. That will be a massive help. Let me show you the settings now. So the first thing that you need to do is to just simply click on this sell button right here and create one dummy listing you're not planning to list this item and sell it you just want to create this listing so ebay will actually prompt you to the page where you need to add your payout information i see many times a lot of people they create an account and it does not ask them for their payout information it does ask for the payment information which is different the payment will be something once you will buy something from ebay so ebay can take the money from that bank account or if you sell something it can take the commission from that bank account it does not ask many time where to send the money into like what will be your pay out account at the end as well so once you create a dummy listing it will automatically prompt you to that page so in order to do that just simply list one item you can remove that listing straight away if it doesn't ask you then it means you already provided that information but normally 99 percent of the time this is the point where it gonna ask you to provide that information this is the first thing to do before i talk about the second settings i want to talk about the sponsor of this video just in 30 seconds the sponsor of this video is awesome today awesome is a accounting and bookkeeping solution specially designed for e-commerce sellers like me and you so if you sell on ebay sell on amazon you need a help with the company formation they only charge you 12 pound they will set up your company and also set up a business bank account for you just in 12 pound and they have a very decent packages for to do your tax return to do your bookkeeping so you don't have to worry about anything got to do with hmrc accounting all that kind of stuff as well so i'm going to put the link for them inside the description let's talk about the second part of this video the second thing that you need to do is just to simply click on your name right here so it for me it says hello zam but obviously in your case it's going to say your name just simply click hover your mouse over this one and then you will be able to find the option call account setting click on account setting because there are the certain settings that we need to do once we create our brand new ebay account so i'm going to click on that one and i'm going to show you how to do those settings now so once you are on this page right here i want you to just simply click on selling preferences so this one is going to be right here under the selling section sometime you don't see that option that's why i recommend creating a listing first so it knows that you are trying to sell something not just try to buy something so just click on selling preferences right here and then it will take you to this selling preferences right here so the first thing that you want to do is you want to automate your feedback so the option for that one is going to be right here and what this will do that as soon somebody buys something from you it will give them automatically the feedback so we're gonna click on edit right here and then we're gonna say buyer has paid for the item as soon buyer pay for the item we want to leave the feedback Back. and what kind of feedback that we want to leave for them you click on this edit stored comment you can like add uh, like 10 to 15 comments right here like thank you so much for buying all that kind of stuff as well so add 10 to diff uh, 10 to 15 different of them and then it's gonna randomly leave each and every comment for them as well so you might think then why we want to automate this process like might be sometime we want to leave a negative feedback for our buyer this is not possible on on ebay like this is a bad news you only can leave a negative feedback as a buyer for a seller like if you buy something you can leave a negative feedback to your seller but you as a seller you can't leave a negative feedback to your buyer it has to be a positive feedback so that's why i say you don't have to go through like you know manually leaving a feedback i highly recommend that you just automate this process first and that gonna save a lot of time and the reason the the kind of messages which i have stored inside my ebay right here is thank you so much for buying please don't forget to leave us a feedback so if you say a positive feedback that will be against ebay terms and condition you are not trying to uh, like ask customer to leave a positive feedback but you're just reminding them to leave you some kind of feedback so just say thank you so much for buying please remember to leave us a feedback this is the way they already got the feedback like a, a positive feedback and 
also got the reminder at the same time that they need to leave a feedback as well. So this will like really, really help you to get a lot of feedback as well. The second option that you want to do is you, you need to automate your returns as well. So this will be very, very easy to do right here. Click on return preferences, click on edit right here. So what you can do, you can set a couple of automation. So let's say sometime if the item, let's say only worth two pound, three pound, it's not worth sending a, a label to the buyer, which like cost you, it's going to cost you maybe four or five pounds. So it will not be worth getting that item back. So you can just simply let's say, okay, well, if the refund is less than three pound, uh, I don't mind. It's just refund it to the customer and you can choose the option right here, like what sort of option they will select to return this one. And then obviously you can automatically approve the return as well. So this is, I don't know why eBay even have these options. Like if you don't approve the return, like by law, the buyer can return the item anyway within 30 days. So even you, it, the reason I do this, because let's say if the item worth only three, four, five pound, I don't want to be just going there, approving the return manually and then refunding it to the customer. I just say like, if the item is worth less than five pound, it's not worth taking that headache anyway. And then I also set automatic approval for all the return because I know that eventually I'm going to have to accept it. So let's say eBay like tell you your buyer have opened the return and you have 14 days to accept that return. Like isn't it's not like there is an option to decline that return. This doesn't exist. So rather than me manually going and then trying to approve that return, I just set that automation inside and that will automatically approve the return because I know I will have to accept that return anyway, because there is no other option. It's not like I can decline that return. So that's the automation that you can set inside your eBay account. So going back right here, the other options that you need to uh, see right here, what you need to do about the item where you are waiting the payment for them. So if you list the item on auction, let's say your auction was running for seven days, right? Buyer have placed the bid on it. They won the bid on it, but they haven't made a payment. So you can select a couple of options right here. So this way, what the eBay will do, they will actually send them a reminder. So how long you want to wait before the eBay will actually cancel. If they, if they don't make a payment, let's say they won the auction, then they don't really win it. Like they don't really make a payment. How long you can wait? So I like minimum four days. And then if somebody haven't paid it, like automatically I, I want to cancel those order. So this will, I will turn that on. And then I will say if I can, if the buyer haven't made a payment and uh, I, it automatically the order was canceled, then I want to relist that item automatically. So I don't want to do that manually again. So you want to turn those two options on right here. Just simply click on save underneath it. And that will also save you a lot of time. The next option that we have is a multi quantity listing. A lot of people ask me this one. So let's say multi this option, both of them has to be turned on. Like this will save you a lot of time, a lot of headache. So this one right here, this one listing stays active once the item goes out of stock. This one, let's say I have this water bottle right here and I list like one of them as soon the one of this one will be sold then the item listing will be ended I don't want to do that because then I will lose that old selling history like normally it works as a social proof so what I want to do like as soon this one will be sold this one right here I can go back inside my eBay seller central and I can just add the quantity again so it the listing will be live so this way I won't lose the selling history a lot of people they just like let's say list five of these item and then the item is sold and then they have to like build the social proof and the, the history selling right from the start as well so this one straight away you want to turn this on like this is the option should be on by default it should be but it won't be I'm, I'm, I'm just saying it should be on by default but it won't be you're gonna have to do that then the buyer can see exactly how many items are left then you know sometime I turn this on the reason because people 
they think, okay, well, I'm going to get paid on XYZ date and they want to make sure like you have enough item. Otherwise, they will try to buy from somewhere else as well. So that's the reason you want to turn this option on as well. This one, this, the next option right here will keep a lot of scammers away, especially once your account is brand new. You don't want to like, you know, ignore this option right here. So the first one is going to be managing who can buy from you. So I'm going to click on edit. I have a very strict option right here as well. So the first one, the, the buyer requirement, the block the buyers, you, you can block certain buyers as well who haven't paid they done two cancellation within past six months like this is like i done six months right here and then two cancellation that's the minimum like they probably won the bid but they haven't really paid for the item i don't want to deal with those kind of buyers as well obviously block the buyer where uh, i don't the to uh, whose primary address i don't post into so this one i check that on as well and then block the buyer who are currently winning or have bought five of my item in last 10 days the reason i do that because like sometime what happened like somebody is probably drop shipping from your store and they just do ebay to ebay drop shipping and also at the same time like once somebody when to scam you they might buy 10 and 15s of same item i sell multiple quantity as well and i sell mobile phone and accessories somebody going to buy a cable like if they're consumer they don't need more than five anyway they don't need to buy more than 10 unless they have another other plan as well and then also what you can do you can actually block the buyers like by username as well so low this one i, I don't want to open this list right here because i have some buyers block right here otherwise it's going to show their name so you can add their username right here so let's say somebody bought something from you and they claim they never received it or they are just a buyer who just returned the item on a regular basis you want to just like you know put them in a buyer block list right here and then you don't have to they, they won't be able to see your store anymore so you can put this one right here and then if you block somebody then you don't want to uh, give them option to actually contact you as well so i turn that on as well and then what you want to do let's say you have an existing listing and you don't want to like you know affect them you just want to apply this setting to future listing you can turn that on but i want to apply that setting to all of my uh listings right here so i keep that off as well so this one is going to keep a lot of scammers away like especially this one the buyer who have won the uh, the the auction but they never paid you uh these are the sort of people i don't want to deal with them anyway so you want to turn that option the next one what you want to do uh this option right here this gonna saves you a lot of time for your accounting bookkeeping all that kind of stuff calculating the profit all of that things so this one right here where it says receive an email with a detailed invoice as well you want to turn this option on because you want to get all the detail of all the fee that you have paid all the item that you have sold all that kind of stuff as well now the next thing right here this one will be only applied if you will be vat registered as well so you don't really need to really worried about it because a lot of new seller won't be vat registered anyway now the business seller preferences all that kind of stuff as well i don't really mess a lot with them because as a new seller you won't be uh, vat registered anyway and then then it says the display the business seller information on the listing you can't hide them anyway if you're a business seller then your list your your uh, your store name your address everything is going to be public so this one it's just for the sake of changing something if you need to change it but you can't hide them anyway if you sell internationally i don't do that so this is something that i don't really have to worry about and normally you get enough orders from ebay already so the next one what you want to do inside your account is just simply you have uh, you can just simply click on this option right here which says time away on the left hand side so you can see this option right here let's say you are going on holiday Days or you are going somewhere then the buyer will be able to see that you are away and you won't be able to post the item straight away so rather than you take all the listing off this 
time away option right here this is going to be really really time saving and really really helpful for you as well you can set the automatic responses at the same time like from here like if somebody send you a message then it's gonna be like out of office email kind of reply you can customize this message and then if you actually schedule the time away this is gonna show you on the top of your list okay so if you learn something from this video please hit the like button subscribe to the channel and i have my zero to full-time ebay selling course we have tons of great testimonial it is designed for somebody who have a zero knowledge and making it all the way to becoming a full-time seller i'm gonna put the link for that inside the description make sure you check that out as well and i'm gonna put one video right here and this one is going to show you how to start ebay dropshipping